Hudayfa bin al-Yaman radiyallahu anhu and his dad did not attend the battle of Badr, but only if you knew why. Hudayfa says, when we were trying to join the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and escape and join the army of the Prophet for the battle of Badr, a group of people from Quraysh caught on to Hudayfa and his dad. And they asked him, you guys want to go and join Muhammad to fight us? Aren't you guys doing that? So they said, no, 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 we're not trying to join Muhammad وسلم, and fight you guys. We just want to go to Medina. That's all what we're trying to do. So then they said, promise and make an oath and a covenant that you will go to Medina and not join forces with him and fight us. Make a promise. Hudayf and his dad say, I promise, wallahi, we will not join the Prophet. We will just go to Medina. Eventually, they left and they saw the Prophet وسلم, and he was heading towards the Battle of Badr. Then Hudayfa and his dad told the Prophet وسلم, of the story that happened. Ya Rasulullah, there were kuffar, disbelievers caught on to us and they told us, oh don't go join forces and we said, wallah, wallah, we're not going to join. When the Prophet وسلم, heard that, he said, you know what? Go back to Medina. Don't join my army. Allahu Akbar. Brothers and sisters, I want you to feel it. The Muslims were 300 plus soldiers against 1,000 enemies, fully equipped with armor and weapons. So any extra addition for the Muslim army is a great need, Allahu Akbar. But the Prophet وسلم, would not do that at the expense of breaching a covenant by breaking a promise. No, that's not him وسلم. He told Hudayfa and his dad, return back to Medina and fulfill the oath you gave to them. You gave to who? You gave to the ones that are coming to kill Prophet Muhammad He's incredible. He lived by the Quran. Then he said, and we will seek Allah's assistance over them. And indeed, Hudayf and his dad returned back to Medina. The Prophet lived very likely by this ayah. Ready? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَوْفُوا بِالْعَهْدِ إِنَّ الْعَهْدَ كَانَ مَسْؤُولًا Allah says, fulfill the promise and the covenant. You will be asked about every promise that you made. If you fulfilled it, Allah will reward you. If you broke it, you will be deserving of punishment. May Allah allow you and I to fulfill every promise that we make to the people. And may Allah protect us and reward us. Wassalamu alaikum.